So this bumper sent the wheels two bumper sensors and the connectors right here. So the shorter one goes on the left side. So you just lay down like this. And obviously the shorter wires of uh, the cliff sensors go inside. And the longer ones go on the outside. You just put them in by just snapping them in. I'll give you guys a closer look on how to do that. So you take the cliff sensor and just kind of slides in and it snaps in. Uh, make sure that the excuse me, make sure that the angle of the cliff sensor is uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. This goes to the outside, a small edge that in the more pointier end goes into the body area. There you go. Snaps it in. Alright. So basically, as you want to screw the uh, bumper sensors on now, you gotta make sure the wires are not pinched anywhere, that they're free. I also find it easier to use a screwdriver that has a magnet tip on it, which holds your uh, screws in place. So it's much easier that way. So go ahead, screw the uh, sensors, I mean, bumper sensors back together. And again, make sure you're not pinching any wires anywhere, because, uh, you might cut or split a wire somewhere and you know, one, some of your sensors might not work correctly. Alright, make sure all, also that the uh, bumpers are not like placed like this. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little gap here. So you gotta make sure they're placing correctly, flat. Alright, so that area there is flat completely. Not like this, because I've seen some people put some robots together and their bumper sensor like this and they don't work correctly. Because it's trying to, you know, bumpers trying to push on it, they can't push on it correctly. Anyway, so make sure that's nice and flat. And it's not pinching any wires. Okay, to uh, play, put the metal uh, bracket right here to you know back on, it's like a spring. To put it back in is real simple. You just gotta pry it out a little bit and put it on. Both same place, same thing on both sides. And to put it back together, if your uh, little covers and protective pieces fell off, it's okay. Just put them back the same way. Uh, the aluminum piece goes first. Or and goes the plastic, no, uh, the metal piece. Anyways, next goes the IR sensors, the uh, infrared IR sensors. They go down next. All right, make sure they go in pretty good, snug. I mean, you can see the slots where they just slide in. That's the same thing for both sides. And make sure the wires are not being pinched anywhere. All right. The next thing you want to slide the bumper and the uh, motherboard close together. And go ahead and plug all the connectors back in. So the, you won't be able to mismatch nothing because everything goes to exactly where it's supposed to go. That's why they have different connectors and wires are already wired up to be going to those connectors instead of being extra long. They're perfectly cut to length. Alright, now you just uh, slide your motherboard in place where it's supposed to go. Make sure you're not, again, not pinching any wires around because sometimes you can 
how why are you going right where your screw is supposed to go and that's not a good thing. Yeah, you can go ahead and plug everything in now or after you screw the motherboard back on. So So now that the motherboard's on, you want to go ahead and screw it together. So using the, uh, oh, let me see, I'm going to try to show you guys the screw, how it looks like. Uh, right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, these are the more fl flat head style screws. Alright. There you go. And they're pretty short, so. Anyways, this is the ones that go on the uh, motherboard, and there are five of those. And there you have it, so. Then goes as the next is to be a piece of plastic here, the protective. Should just slide in really easily. Now this portion right here, with the last slot, it just goes right over the uh, SCSI connector right here. All right. Then you place the uh, keypad right where it's supposed to go. You know, the screw is supposed to go right to these four four holes here. Okay, I'm going to use a number two size uh, Phillips head on these. Now remember, I, I never removed those screws, they were just in there all the time. So that's a one way, a good way of not losing the screws where they go and they're always there. Just lift up with them. So they stay in it. Next thing you want to put down, you know, is the, uh, the time and date. A little, a little piece of plastic here that goes over. So this uh, reads Sunday uh, through Saturday this way, and the times on top. Make sure you place it this way, not upside down or backwards. So Sunday through Saturday, and you should see a warning sign here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, it goes this way. Put the top piece on. All right. Gotta put the uh, big, you know, top cover on top. And making sure that the uh, bumper uh, wire right here does not get pinched. Right, this bumper wire right here. Make sure it doesn't get pinched by uh, this right here, uh, this portion of the cover. Make sure it goes right through next to here. All right. Okay. So. You can take a look at the uh, the wire right here. Make sure it's good. Now you can put the uh, bumper wire through the little slot right here in the front. Now, or you can do it later. So I use my fingernail. It's hard to see. You know, it's, I use my fingernail to push it in right into the slot. You don't want to use a screwdriver or a knife obviously because you'll just cut the wires. So you just put, you know, use your fingernail to push the wires into the little slot right there. So from this point it'll look something like this. It's kind of hard to tell with the lighting but... Yeah, like I said with lighting it's a little hard to tell. There you go. Now you guys can see. Alright. 
So then you put the bumper on. The way I like to put it is in my own style. So, I mean, obviously you guys, of course, not professional with this. Most likely just use a screwdriver to screw and screw the hole, the screwdrivers. Okay. That was just my tip of the screwdriver that fell off. No problem, it's all good. All right. Yeah, make sure that the uh, the bumper uh, is very springful here. If you if sometimes it's not so springful, then you probably your wire that goes underneath here. It came out from the little slot I showed you guys earlier. So you might take the bumper off again and make sure it's springy. If it's if if the wire is still clear, try to uh, bend the spring, the metal springs right there. Let's try to bend them a little bit so it'd be more springy. But this is how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to get stuck in there and then you have to pull it out because otherwise it's not going to work good. So make sure it's springy here, okay? Alright. So now you put the uh, screws back on. Go ahead and use the uh, number one Phillips head to put the small screw on. On the, on the bottom right here of the uh, keypad. And then place all this 10 larger size screws in the right holes. Where'd they go? If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and comment. So you just go ahead and use the uh, number two size Phillips head now. So screw those on. The face plates on these do go on easy on and off. You just gotta be careful not to break the uh, the clips on them. So yeah, don't be too rough on it, pushing it down. You know, put it back on. It's supposed to just go on pretty easy. I'll show you guys in a second how it goes on. 